The number of children in foster care in Indiana peaked nearly a year and a half ago. Today, the number is trending down, but there still remains a critical need for licensed foster families. Ann Marie Tiran joins us now to explain why such the big push for help. And well, hey there, Matt. There are right now about 13,400 children in foster care in Indiana today. They're placed by the state, and they're also placed in homes from, with some licensed placing agencies, places like the Villages. So to continue our conversation today, joining us live in studio is Sharon Pierce. She is the president and the CEO of the Villages. Thanks so much for joining and us. And thank you for focusing on this critical issue, Anne. -Marie. Well, it's important because everybody cares about kids. You know, tell us, what is the greatest need for these children in need in our state. Um, we're continuing to see as a result of the opioid crisis just a constant flow of children, particularly young children. In Indiana, about 57% of the children coming into the system are um, under five years of age. So families uh, who can love and nurture them and keep them safe are so critical. Well, it is so important to have families that can take them in. And let's kind of understand the numbers a little bit because even though the number of kids go is going down, the need for foster families is great. What is the ideal ratio that you see out there and why? You know, a few years ago, the Villages was funded to do a research project and we realized that for every child being placed, we needed six choices, six families, to make sure we could match that child ethnically, geographically, spiritually, if that's an important part of their um, need, and just to make sure that we could match their emotional and social needs in the best way possible. It's just like any good team. You need that solid bench strength so you can make great choices at the right time for each and every child. Yes, that's so important. So you're really thinking for every foster child, you'd like to have six licensed homes to consider as a Absolutely. good placement. And the better the placement, the less they have to move around. Right, right, right. Okay, so tell us who can be a foster parent? What, what, what's involved with that? You have to be at least 21 years of age. Mm -hmm. You have to demonstrate a sense of financial stability. Um, certainly you have to pass a criminal background check. There can be no inappropriate activity with children. And then um, agencies like the Villages and the Department of Child Services require a certain number of hours of training and a home study process. But it's really a partnership. I want anyone out there who's listening to realize there are folks that will help you every step of the way if you're feeling called to do this and if you feel like the timing is right for you and for those in your family, in your life. Well, what about the people that might be watching right now and really have a heart for these kids but aren't willing to take on the responsibility just not, you know, of a child 24-7? What can they do? Absolutely. They can be a caring community, a support system for the families who are feeling like the time is right. Every day we need diapers, we need formula, gift cards so a foster family might be able to go out for an evening together and not worry about fixing a meal. Um, one of the things we love to do is provide birthday boxes, you know, a little mm -hmm. box with a, a cake mix and an age-appropriate uh, gift, a book, um, a gift card so that that child can pick out something special because oftentimes when they've been separated from their family of origin, they have no idea if anybody even knows it's their birthday. Oh. And that's such a, a, a critical celebration for all of us as children. Right. Well, some very good points. And I hope that people hear this and think, hey, maybe we could do that with our team or our youth group or something like Absolutely. that, engage with you. All right. So if you're interested in doing that, um, the number right there for the villages is on the bottom of your screen. And so we want to make sure that you reach out and say, maybe I want to be a caring community. Maybe I would like to be a foster parent. We want to let you know that we are going to continue the conversation conversation on Facebook as soon as we wrap up here. So if you have any questions, you can ask them of us Absolutely. and we'll try to do our best to, to help answer them. And then make sure you stay with us all day. Tune in tonight at 6 o'clock and also at 11 o'clock. We're going to meet two children with two families with two foster outcomes. And this will help you better understand the journey. So we really hope that you step up and do something to help kids in crisis in our state. Matt, back to you. All right, Anne-Marie, thank you.